This is the place where Julius Caesar cured his disease. We're gonna come back later, but for now, let's go and find out what else Casares has to offer. Welcome to Casares, which has been voted as one of the 100 most beautiful villages in all Spain. Hi, this is Julian and Arslan. We gave up our corporate life in London and moved to Costa del Sol to live a Mediterranean life. We have been exploring Spain's beautiful coast of the sun and the famous whitewashed hill towns called Pueblos Blancos. Today, we have come to a place which merges both of them with a bank, a Pueblo Blanco on Costa del Sol. On the western Costa del Sol near Gibraltar and Estepona lies Casares, one of the 100 most beautiful villages in Spain. National Geographic described Casares as this charming white town in Malaga is the cradle of Andalusianism, as it was the birthplace of politician, ideologue and writer Blas Infante. He is basically the guy who identified Andalusia's identity as a unique mixture of Spanish and Moorish cultures and designed the flag we see today, popularly known as the father of Andalusia. In this video, we are going to take you to three areas of Casares. The whitewashed hill town, thermal springs popular for its healing properties, and finally, we will explore a small but beautiful coast of Casares. Let's get straight to the hill town and see if it really is that pretty or just another whitewashed hill town. It truly was an amazing drive. The views were incredible and the scenery nothing like the rest of Costa del Sol. I cannot count how many times I said wow. At times it looked like someone has taken a piece of Switzerland and put it in Costa del Sol, complete with cows in lush green surroundings. If you're a fan of beautiful drives, you're gonna love this one. Just over half an hour from Abea, I will bring you to this beautiful, peaceful oasis, surrounded by the mountains and amazing views filled with history. The drive coming here was one of the most wonderful drives I've ever experienced in Spain. It was filled with absolutely stunning views everywhere, especially the part where you're driving and you see the windmills on the side and big, stunning mountains in front. Wow, it was just mind-blowing. And they have so many things to offer, so I'm gonna go and explore them now. We parked the car at the one end of town and made our way down into the town centre. Just like most Mediterranean villages and towns, the afternoons are for siesta. Most streets and shops are quiet while tourists explore these charming streets. There were a number of hotels in the area, but not as many shops. Known for its fascinating charm and timeless beauty, Casares is a prime example of iconic white villages that dot the Spanish countryside. As the golden sun bathes the landscape in warm glow, the whitewashed buildings shine like a pearl, creating a scene which is magical and inviting. Now we are heading towards the main attraction of Casares, the castle. Dominating the skyline, the medieval fortress of Casares stands as a silent protector watching over the town for centuries.
for the castle, let us show you Casares' another claim to fame, the Thermal Springs, which is actually much closer to the coast. The thermal waters here are believed to have therapeutical effects and are known for their warm temperatures. The site also has ancient Roman baths, which are open to public. The area is surrounded by beautiful scenery and is a great place to relax and unwind. This is Banos de Adionda. Hey, what an absolutely lovely place. I've been searching online about this place quite a lot before coming here, but nothing prepared me for the beauty, the trails and the water color of the rocks and everything around here. It's such a nice, beautiful spot to have a picnic. Did you know Julius Caesar came here to bathe in these waters and it cured his skin disease? That's where the town Casares is named after him. It's free to get in here. There's no gate or anything like that. You can just walk in and enjoy the beautiful picnic. But make sure if it's peak summer, book your slot. We checked on the website that you need to book a slot coming here for summers. But in winters like today, it's not very busy. Walk in and just enjoy yourself. That is a true oasis of calm which feeds your spirit so positively. We will surely be a regular visitor here. Now, let's go back to the castle. The climb to the top rewards you with not only a glimpse into the past, but also panoramic views that stretch as far as the eye can see. Due to its location, Casares Castle was the hub of communication between Estepona, Manilva, Ronda and inner towns. It is the highest point in the village and it dominates the valleys, hills and the coast. Wow, this view, whoa, nobody told me about that, that there is such an amazing view here. This itself is a tourist attraction. So these are the popular eagles of Casares. Uh, this whole area is their nesting ground. And for that reason, the whole area is a natural park. Now I understand why it has been voted as one of the top 100 destinations to visit in Spain. It's a combination of Tejer, Arcos, and also I can see a bit of Ronda here. Wow. That was a very short walk, but very steep. And I think I need to go to the gym more often. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the coast because Casares extends all the way to the sea. We're gonna go there, see the pipe, and hopefully catch some amazing sunsets. Come with us. The area between Estepona and La Duquesa is the coast of Casares. The coast is dotted with beautiful housing development and it's very popular with foreigners. From here we're going to walk down about 5 to 10 minutes to Baya de Casares.
the course is definitely residential and what a property goal this part of Spain is. In my opinion, Casares is undervalued. It's actually gorgeous right on the beach and the prices are not too bad. That was Casares. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did because we absolutely loved it. To be honest, it has exceeded our expectations. We were not expecting much because we thought, oh, we've been to quite a few Pueblo Blancos. It's going to be more or less similar, but it was one of the top one, if not the top Pueblo Blancos. I see why they have named one of the most beautiful towns in Spain. The Saris truly is a hidden gem of Costa del Sol. If you're in the area, you cannot miss this one. Until next time, thank you.